Hi, Nicole. I wanted to do um, show you Nearpod, so we'll go right to the home. Okay, so then you go to my library. And remember I said you should do by each period. You can tell that, um, you know, that is how I do it. So then you can do student pace. I've done that. Did not like it at all because, for one, I think the students go too quickly and you don't really get to see at the time what they're doing. And two, then I had to go back in and look at all those way too much time. So, and this is where you can edit it from too. So, I always do a live lesson. So, you can share it on Google Classroom and buy a link in with the code. I, um, I have not used these two, but you know, if that's something like if you want to share it out on, I don't know if you guys have Twitter or whatever, you can do it that way. Um, so if I wanted to share it with the link, well, I'll just share it in Google Classroom. So let's say that I shared it, well, to your class. Then um, I could create the assignment or announcement and um, do it through that way, then they could just click there. So then, of course, remember that, you know, when you go down through here, their screen only changes when you do so. I always put in extra questions and then you can just skip them if you want to. Um, and then um, you can get your reports or end the session. So you can do that. You can get the reports that way. Or um, when you go here, you can get your reports. And then, of course, you can see which one that you wanted to do and um, then open that up, see how many students, and so on and so forth. Now, I put a link in um, if you wanted to just do it this way. So if you wanted to just give the students this link and they would literally just put up their session, their, their code session code, which remember to get the session code, all you have to do is to pick a live lesson. And then here it is right here. There's something called um, Crafty Text. It's a, an extension that when you click on it and then you enter it, it makes it large across the screen for, so the students can see. And then when you click on it, it just goes away. It's just a way to show. Or you can do, of course, the Control Plus and make it bigger. So anyway, um, Hopefully that's a good way for you to do that and then you can go ahead and see the reports and how the kids did. Sometimes I don't even go back and look at the reports. Sometimes I just really want them to review and I kind of get an idea of who knows what for sure. Um, so that's that. So that's the, the student link is this and I put that link in the email. And of course the teacher, you just go back here, library. And you can also explore to see if there are other ones. I haven't had a lot of luck with that. Um, so hopefully that will get you started with Nearpod. I also here did a video of Quiz Quiz Trade. It's, you know, a video um, that I watched when I was learning how to do it. But I am actually doing it today. And I have another class at 1 o'clock. This is my tech time. So I can do it at 1 o'clock. If you want me to videotape my students doing it, I would be glad to do that and send it to you. And I'm going to um, put a different video on Google Classroom that I think is pretty funny. So hopefully this helps. Okay. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. And if you want to share any of those 10th grade recaps, I'd love to see them. Thanks. Bye.